This week's fruit of the spirit is joy. Joy is a deep rooted, inspired happiness. It's not influenced by outside forces or even by how we really feel on the inside. It comes from deep within, from the love of God that we talked about last week. That love comes from a life committed to following Jesus. And that requires that our own character should be modeled after the fruits of the Spirit. Joy is the direct byproduct of a life lived in love. After the Israelites had rebuilt the wall of Jerusalem and Ezra had read the book of Moses to them, all the people sat down to study and eat and fellowship together. They shared what they had with one another. Nehemiah says this, this day is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is what sustains us from day to day and is the assurance that God is in control of all the details of our lives from the smallest to the greatest. This week, our spiritual discipline is to share joy of the Lord with someone special or a group of people or even invite someone who needs to witness joy in their lives to join you. Remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength today.